Fultless. Um, I'm the musician in residence at St John's College in Cambridge and also the director of performance at the Faculty of Music. The cello belonged to the very distinguished composer Jonathan Harvey, who died quite recently, who had a long association with St John's College as an undergraduate and then as an honorary fellow. So it's very exciting that his family, his widow Rosa and daughter Anna, decided to approach St John's with the idea of the cello spending its life in college. a very significant gift to be given this cello by Jonathan Harvey's family but it would be I think sad for it to have sat in a glass case as a museum object and the family were very keen that the instrument was going to be played and therefore some work needed to be done to the cello in order that it becomes a working musical instrument and not just a museum piece. So we had to embark on a restoration project in order for it to be in fairly robust playing condition and I took it to a number of luthiers, in fact it was a very fine luthier in Cambridge, Jonathan Woolston, who looked at it and was very keen to do the work uh, and it involved repairing a few cracks, dealing with the neck, the fingerboard, the nuts and bolts as it were of putting a string instrument back into really good playing condition so that any old damage is very firmly repaired and can't open up again. inevitably fun to try and find some anecdotes about the history of an instrument like this and something that I know Jonathan was particularly proud of himself as an undergraduate was that he carried the cello on his back and made various sorts of slightly illegal exits and entrances to college over gates and walls that weren't officially the way he should have been uh, coming in and out of college. When the cello first arrived and I was shown it it had a little luggage label on the strap, but it wasn't his home address down in Sussex. It was actually the address of Ircam in Paris, probably the most famous centre for contemporary music that's ever existed. Uh, and I've kept that label as a very significant souvenir of a history of some of its travels. <laughs> would formerly belong to St John's, that actually it would be housed in the music faculty as part of the musical instruments collection here that I curate and that we look after. And it would be available perhaps first and foremost to a Jonian who wanted to borrow it and play it for a term or a year. But there aren't always Jonian cellists around who don't have their own instruments for whom this would be an appropriate instrument. So in fact it's quite likely that it will be played in the first instance um, by one of the very best current undergraduates who's taking part in all sorts of university-wide projects. It doesn't happen to be a student at St John's this year, but I'm delighted that there's very good prospects for the cello being used straight away. Mm -hmm.